Done. Hey guys, I've got the North American Arms Pug. It's chambered in 22 Magnum. And I hear guys who have pocket pistols say that they would fire their gun right through their pocket if time was of the essence. And of course it is in, in uh, tactical situations. So we don't really don't know if uh, you could even hit an assailant from your pocket and there's only one way to do that is to practice it so I've got some shorts on here I'm going to first try to stop the situation verbally at that point I'm going to pull the hammer back and fire it's a five shot revolver we'll see if I can hit my target and uh, see what happens all right stop I don't want a problem Okay, I can see right away that the hammer did not fire because my clothing got in the way of the hammer as it landed on the round. So I'm going to try it again. This time I'm going to have the hammer already back. Of course, you would never carry this gun in this fashion, but I'm going to try it anyways for the purpose. Stop! I don't want a problem! Once again, the hammer did get caught up into the clothing. So by all indications so far, I certainly would not try shooting from the pocket. This, uh, this time I'm going to try it again. If it does not work, I'm going to pull out my gun, take five shots. I'm going to back up as I shoot and, of course, leave and call 911. I don't want a problem. Okay, let's see how I did. Well, I was moving backward. I did get a neck shot in. However, I missed above the head. I missed above the left shoulder. I did hit one right in center of mass. And another, I missed the target. I guess my point is, if you're going to carry a pocket gun and you plan to shoot from the pocket, you better make sure that the gun functions well and that's achievable. Out of my five shots, which were not from the pocket, I actually hit the body two times out of five shots. Now I was backing up, however, you better think your strategy through, you, you pocket pistol guys. All right, you guys, thanks for watching. Practice your stuff and be safe.